that's a perfect bite. Mm. That is delicious. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We're here in downtown Atlanta yes. at one of their institution restaurants. Yes, it's been around ever since, what, 1945? 1945, we're at Mary Max Tea House. And we've been here once before, years ago. Tea Room, I understand. Tea, <laughs> yeah. tea Room. Yes, uh, they uh, specialize in down-home southern type comfort food. Comfort food, yeah, I'm so yeah. ready for some. Yeah, 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 so, you know, there's free parking along the street right around the corner, and, and as you're walking here, you can smell fried chicken already. Oh my gosh, I'm ready. Yeah, I might have to get some fried chicken. I think so. Let's go inside. Just got seated here. Check out the menu. They have this nice southern special. It's an all you can eat option. Uh, it costs what twenty seven ninety nine mm -hmm. per person uh, for adults, but you get to have uh, up to three entrees and three sides and a dessert. And if you want more, they'll they'll bring it out to you. That's crazy. a good deal. Yeah, that might be a little too much food for us for today because it's more like a brunch. But they do have the traditional southern specialties. So we're gonna look through this menu, and uh, I'm sure we'll find something. When we sit down, they give you butter rolls and cornbread. Look how cute these little cornbreads are. And they give you a little bit of butter. Go ahead and try this out. You can tell these are warm. So they're freshly done. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Good cornbread flavor. A little bit buttery. I got the homemade meatloaf. Check this out. That is a huge portion of meatloaf with tomato sauce on top. For my sides, I got the butter peas and mashed potatoes. Let's just go right for this. Look at that. We're gonna go right for the meatloaf here. Oh, wow, look at that. Very meaty. Wow. It is all meat, no fillers. First off, let me say that I'm more of a brown gravy person on the meatloaf. But let me tell you, this tomato, meatloaf is amazing really it is so delicious it is very meaty like I mentioned it is not dry at all and that tomato has that nice like a sweet zest of tomato sauce on it, it matches perfectly with that meatloaf I'm a fan you know when I first saw the tomato I was like eh, I hope I like it but it exceeded my expectations. I love it. And let, let me try some of these peas out. Oh yeah. Nice and tender peas. It is a little bit on the salty side. So if you eat this with the mashed potatoes, I'm sure everything will balance out. Yeah, great tasting mashed potatoes. A little bit salty on the peas, but they are tender. But really, the start of the dish is that meatloaf. I will definitely get this again when I come back over here. Highly recommend it. You were talking about that meatloaf, baby, and you're a meatloaf person, too. That's so right. not bad, not bad. I got the roast turkey meal. Now, this roast turkey meal comes with gravy. This is cranberry some sauce. I got my sides as the fried green tomatoes and my collard greens. They have like 15, 20 different sides that you can pick uh, for these meals and you get two sides for each meal. So I'm going to go ahead and try and, oh look at that, that's the stuffing right there. So this is my roast turkey meal and on the bottom of my turkey is a bread, of, a bed of stuffing. Oh yeah, that's a wow. lot of slices of turkey there. That's too. a lot of slices of turkey. Wow. Let's go ahead, get some of this turkey right here, with that gravy. Oh, that's a bite and a half right here. Look at that. Have a little bit of stuffing in there. 
Cheers. Thanksgiving. I can come back here, have Thanksgiving every single time I'm visiting. This tastes like home. This tastes like my Thanksgiving meal. This stuffing. That stuffing is delicious. Nice and very moist. It goes with that turkey perfectly. A little bit of Here's my collard greens. You know I'm a fan of collard greens. Mm. Great collard greens. Great flavor of that collard greens. You know how sometimes collard greens is bitter? Not bitter at all. And my fried green tomatoes too comes with this order. And this is actually the sauce for the fried green tomatoes. See if I can get some of that sauce on there. Great crunch. Good fried green tomatoes. Has that little bit of tang from the tomato. I believe this is like a ranch dressing. Mm -hmm. A ranch dressing for the dipping sauce of the fried green tomatoes. This is a perfect meal. This turkey is the star of the dish. That stuffing is wonderful with it. Matches so well. Of course, we had to get the fried chicken dinner also as well. We just couldn't pass it up since we uh, smelled it walking in. Mm -hmm. So uh, give that a shot. Yeah, and this is what Mary Mac is known for. They're known for their fried chicken. I'm going to eat my drumstick. Here is, first of all, the batter. Mm. Nice, crunchy. Perfect crunch for that. We let it cool down a bit. So this is going to be a perfect bite. That chicken is juicy in there. The fry is just on point. You can see here, you can see the steam still coming out of it. The chicken doesn't taste seasoned. The seasoning on the batter is very light. This is just a good southern fried chicken. I had to try the chicken, of course. Got me a nice wing over here. Let's try it out. Oh, crispy. I love the light batter. It just it just falls right off the, the chicken itself. Very light and crispy. Crunchy. I know you heard that one. Like I said, there's not a lot of seasoning. Very lightly seasoned. But I think it's good. I really like the fried chicken. As long as it's nicely, freshly fried and it has that nice crispy batter to it, I'm a fan. Let's try some of this uh, potato salad out. There we go. Very good potato salad. It is like mayonnaise based, so there's no mustard flavor in it at all. There's so many sides that are available here. We had a hard time picking out the ones that we got, but I think we chose some pretty good ones. So, excellent lunch here at Mary Max. Look at this mac and cheese, this crust on this mac and cheese. You can tell that just came out. So let's go ahead and try this right here. See if we got some of that crusty part. That is delicious mac and cheese. It is comfort. It's not put with all these like four different cheeses or anything. It's a straight down home mac and cheese. Any kid would like this mac and cheese. Sometimes the mac and cheese doesn't need to be fancy pants. This is absolutely delicious. Georgia peach cobbler. If you're in Georgia, you gotta do the peaches. Go ahead, try this out. Wow, look you at can that. tell. Look at that. Isn't that 
Georgia sky. Yeah, it's a little Back overcast, listen. but still there. Yeah. Mm. That is warm. Right there. Wow. Is a bite of that Georgia peach heaven. That Georgia peach has a little bit tartness to it. This right here, this syrup right here has a little bit sweetness to it. Let's try out this crust, which is glistening too in that Georgia sky. Come on, crusty. And uh, here's our Georgia sky right here. Yeah, it's kind of overcast, but yeah. that's okay. It's all good. Oh, yeah, that's a perfect bite. Mm. That is delicious. We could have all mowed it with some vanilla on top, but we want those tastes the peaches to come on out. And it is screaming out of this cobbler. Oh my gosh. You're going to love this, babe. I'm sure I will. Good morning. Good morning. We have to have a visit to the Waffle House. We have to. So you, yesterday we went to Mary Max. That's right. right. And that is a family-owned business institution here in Atlanta, as well as the, the Waffle, Waffle House. House. It's also an institution. Now, yes. you know, we have some love it or hated fans of the Waffle yes, House. Yes, true. We, we love it. We love it. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, you know, we, we don't have something like this in uh, L.A. Where yeah, we are. and Denny's is not close. No, yeah. no, it's not. No. Yeah. This so, is uh, Waffle House love. It over is. Over here in Atlanta. Hash browns, waffles. Yeah, I'm ready. Smothered, covered. Have uh, it all. All that. All that. This is the menu here. Nice, simple menu. I'm going to get this one, of course. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to get this one, of course. We're going to go share that waffle. Yeah, I'm going to. You know, I never had this one before the sausage, egg, and cheese with hash browns. Mm -hmm. Try that one out. And then you know we're going to get a side of hash browns. Oh, yeah, that's the way you can get it. Mm -hmm. right? This is the way you order it. It's only three bucks, hash browns here. And then each add on is 50 cents. Yeah. Right. I like right. it. Not only do they have breakfast, and breakfast is all day, they have lunch and dinner as well. Uh, you know, I only tried like uh, the patty melt here once, but it's mostly for breakfast. So it's interesting. Yeah. And this place is much popular during the a.m., during the breakfast time, than it is lunch and dinner. Usually, we pass right. I mean, there are three Waffle Houses that are in our area. It's on Virginia. And on Virginia. Right? And um, all of them are, are pretty busy. And then this one is just calming down now. Yeah. So. So yeah. So it looks like. When you come here to Waffle House, this is what you have to get. Sure. Their waffle. You gotta get their waffle. Right? You gotta get their waffle. Yeah. They have their whipped spread. Look at their own. Oops! It fell out. Their own Waffle House whipped spread. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get this spread on. <laughs> spread it on in there. All over that waffle. Here comes the syrup pour. Here we go. Oh yeah, right there. Oh uh, yeah. So, that yeah. bite is ready. Oh yeah, this is delicious. It's always our one of our favorites every time we come here. It we is. always get it. Mm. That crunchiness on that waffle is where you want it to be. The little saltiness of the butter and that sweetness of that syrup. Oh yeah. This is what you expect the waffle at the Waffle House to be. Of course, when you get grits here, you have to add cheese. So what they do is they make their grits. They put a slice of cheese right in the middle. It's regular good old American cheese. Then they put some grits on top. I mixed it in already. Mm -hmm. The grits are nicely cooked. That little saltiness from that cheese. Oh yeah. And what's a grit, baby? Um, I think it's like hominy beans. It's like, almost like, like a like ground mashed, hominy. Mashed hominy. Right. It, it's mm -hmm. kind of flavorless. That's mm -hmm. why we put the cheese on it. A lot of people will put the salt and pepper. I've seen all these different things. We like cheese. I've seen people put salt and pepper on it. Um, some people put um, some other stuff in it, huh, baby? Just yeah, to give it a little bit of flavor. Sure. And you also got um, some little sausage, little mm -hmm. hockey pucks. Um, my toast and my egg. Yeah. 
For my breakfast, I got like the sausage scramble. You can have sausage or ham. Um, I chose sausage, the scrambled eggs, over hash browns. Of course, you could add any of the same toppings for additional charge, like the regular hash browns. But I get it like this. This is the first time I'm trying it. Oh, I got cheese too, look. Wow. And the sun just started coming up. It was kind of raining this morning. That's delicious. You know what really, the thing that stands out about the Waffle House is it's something that you could make at home. It's very home style type of cooking. If I had the time, I would probably make something exactly like this. But I don't, I'm traveling. So I come to the Waffle House. It's affordable, it's delicious, it's good, it's good stuff. I love it. What I love here, is that the hash browns are crispy done. Oh yeah. So look at how crispy that is. And this is called covered and top. So you got your order of hash browns and then covered is with the cheese, topped is with the Burt's chili. So going ahead, let's get a bite here. Get all of that in there. Oh yeah, you know, hash browns with chili and cheese. You cannot go wrong with mm -hmm. that combination. Meaty chili, not spicy at all. Crunchiness of that hash brown and the same cheese they use in the grits. Oh yeah. Got a little bit of that cheese right here. Cheese. Get that chili. Mm -hmm. That crunchiness of that hash browns, even with the chili on top. That's where it's at right here. Yeah, delicious. Yeah, I got the same hash browns, so I know they're, per they're mm -hmm. cooked perfectly. Yeah. So we're gonna work on this meal because yeah. we have a road trip ahead we of us. We do. We're on the road to where? Bucky's. Yes, Bucky's. This is a new location for us here in Georgia. So it's about an hour north of the airport, right? Yes. Yeah, so uh, we're making our way there now. Here we go, we finally made it. And we've been to this one before. Yes, Calhoun. Made it to Calhoun Bucky. Yes, we did come here before. Yes. I remember coming to Calhoun before, huh, baby? Yeah, that's, there's yeah. only a couple in Georgia, one in Macon and, and this one here. And this one, and there was another one too. That uh -huh. was a little bit further. So we went to the closest one, which for Atlanta, this is the closest one in Calhoun. Yes, uh, so let's go inside. Let's uh, go. See what's new. Yes. Bucky's is getting ready for Mardi Gras. What do you think? You even got the gear. You know, if we had a little baby, we would completely deck them out with Bucky, Bucky. gear. Look how cute these are. Look at this is my hand, and I have small hands. Baby sock. How and look, cute is that? A little infant beanie. Yeah. Uh, Good thing we don't have any little kids. No, no babies. You know, we love Bucky's, and if you've never been to Bucky's before, there's some, I think, all the way up until Texas. That's where it originates from, and it's a huge convenience store that's connected to a gas station. So, closes here, food is here, there's even to go food, they have their whole snack section. Yeah, this is like a, a AM PM if you're here in Cali. On steroids. Um, yeah, it's probably about 20, 20 or 50 times bigger than yeah. an, a, an average AM PM. And store. don't forget the most important thing the cleanest bathrooms around. Yeah, cleanest and big bathrooms, like like airport bathrooms here. And they're all private. Uh, all private yes. stalls. Yeah. They're known for their beef jerkies. This is a new one Korean barbecue. Yeah, I've never seen that I'm one. I'm gonna try this one. My favorite one is the cherry maple one. What you can see, a lot of packets are missing right here. Oh yeah. Sorry. And for the uh, spicy people, they have ghost pepper. So they have these already pre-done in packets, plus they have a whole bar of beef jerky. So it's pretty cool. If you don't want to buy the jerky by the packet. Yeah, you can yeah. buy them by the pound here. Right.
They're making some uh, brisket sandwiches yeah, right now. That's a big ice cream scoop here. She's gonna oh, put yeah. some more on. The one that we just saw, the chopped brisket sandwich, it's $8.49. That's the regular size. Regular, and then they have an extra, extra large one, which is $12.99. Yes, right there. But I think we're gonna share the regular because that's yeah. big enough. Yeah, and uh, we're kind of still full from breakfast. Yeah. We found some amazing looking burritos, a Texas cheesesteak burrito. Check that out. We're gonna have to give this one a try next time. That looks delicious. Chicken burritos, and we're always keeping an eye out for our vegetarian friends. They have an option right there for you. So yeah, who knew that they have burritos here at Bucky's? Can you want to know what our favorite bakery item here, here at Bucky's is? Mm -hmm. You guessed it? Yeah. Peach, Peach muffins. muffins. Yeah, we, we have get to it. get one. We, we have to. It. Good selection of meat and cheese, and some specialty mm -hmm. ones. This is the dried venison and pork sausage right here. Or you can get it in like a charcuterie tray. Oh yeah. Uh, we never tried it from Bucky's before no. over here. Maybe one day, huh? Maybe one day. Here's a little shout out for our longtime viewers, Will and Iris, Euling Hershey's Porter. Yeah, have you guys tried this or seen it? Write in the comments below if you've seen it, but it's here at Bucky's. This is something new. Expensive at $29.99, but we have beaver nugget candles. How's it smell, babe? It smells just like what we're buying. The beaver nuggets. This smells amazing. 30 bucks though? Ah. This is cheaper and it tastes better. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We're going to try the uh, chopped brisket. Yes. So it is $8.49. Yes. And the extra, extra large is uh, $12.99. I thought yes, it, was it was cheaper before. Well, you know, the cost yeah. of barbecue is going that's up. That's true. Yeah. That's true. But I re remember it being just a cheap, tad bit cheaper last time. Yeah. But then again, we haven't been here in over a year. Have right. Been? And in case you're wondering, uh, the ga the regular unleaded gas price is three dollars and nine cents per gallon here mm -hmm. at Bucky's. Oh, and in case I you're and I also have it. I just took a picture of it. Man, if you're gonna work for Bucky's, you can make some really good money. Yeah. Wanna see? I have it. I'll I'll post it later. But look at this right here. That's pretty cool. Look at how much you can make. It's a lot of money if you want to work for Bucky's. It's not bad. Not, not bad, bad, huh? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. sure you got to work though yeah. for it. Yep, you do. All right. Alrighty, here we go. This is the barbecue sandwich. Yeah, they put big old scoops of uh, brisket in here, right? So, Ready? Oh, let's see. Look at that. La. Nice wow. and juicy. Yes, big chunks. That looks really good. I know it's chopped. It's a lot of chunks yeah, in there. Yeah, a lot of chunks in there. Yeah. I'll give go you ahead, the then. meaty side, baby. No, go ahead. Go for the first bite. No, I'm holding it for you, so you can go for the first bite. Right on. Yeah, it's getting windy and cold. Yeah, yeah. it's going to rain. That's yeah. why. Mm. Yeah, it's good. 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 Yeah, it's it's gonna fill you up. They have some bucky chips, which are beaver, beaver chips, which are really um, oh, yeah. house made. Yeah, and these are very tender pieces yeah. of brisket. Oh, very it's tender. A little bit sweet on that yeah. barbecue sauce. Sweet, slightly tangy barbecue sauce. Yeah. Yeah, sorry for the wind, it's picking up now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is delicious. This is really good. Let's move on. Yeah, we will. Here we go with the peach mm -hmm. muffins. We got two, so mm -hmm. we're gonna have one for tomorrow morning. Yes. Here we go. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at this peach right in there. Oh yeah, now this one, you know, we even talked a few locals into trying yeah. out the yeah. peach and, and they're they really happy. really liked it. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and let me open one up for you. Crack this open. Look at oh, that. Oh, look at that. Peach is in there. Let's go ahead and get this piece. It has that great crumbly top. Mm -hmm. It has good amount of peaches. Mm -hmm. By far. These are great. These are like, like almost like canned peaches, right? And so it's not like it has a bite of a fresh peach. Right. 
it's nice and sweet. This is by far the best peach muffin I've ever tasted. Prove me wrong, anybody. Write it in the comments if you had a better peach muffin. But here at Bucky's, they really know how to do their peach muffins. They do. And you know what? The, the cranberry one, as well as the blueberry, we've They're had those good. as well. Yeah. Yes. But this is still our favorite, though. Yeah. This is the reason why many people stop at Bucky's mm -hmm. for the beaver nuggets. For the beaver nuggets. Mm -hmm. And they're um, not that bad. They're like four or five bucks for this whole packet. Yes, we even have a couple packs to take home as we well. Do. Mm -hmm. This taste. Mm -mm. Mm. It's kind of hard to describe because it's so unique. But I would say it's pretty close to those um, pop cereals. What is it? To the Kellogg's Corn, corn Pop. Corn Pop cereals, except crunchier. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of saltiness to it. And mm -hmm. it has like a little, a sweet glaze over it. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, these are delicious. Yes. And I bet some people even eat this like a cereal uh, with milk. Yeah, I would think I, so. Because I can't see why not. It matches perfectly with milk. It is. And pro tip, everybody always asks what you know, what you pack when you're on, a, on your trips and stuff. I always pack, which I have at the hotel, Ziploc bags. That's right, you know, because once you open these bags, it's gonna go stale after mm -hmm. a day, right? So, Ziploc bags don't take any room at all. I have a two gallon size and two uh, of the regular sandwich bags, mm -hmm. or the quart size bag as well. Put them in your backpack, because you never know where you're gonna end up, and you wanna save some goodies. These are the perfect snaps while driving, going on an airplane. I, anytime, really. These are addictive. Yeah. They really are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to get your shout outs ready? Mm hmm. Okay. That's going to wrap things up from uh, Bucky's yeah. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm, I'm going home tomorrow. Yeah. So tomorrow. that was a good little trip. Uh, it Rocky was. is training. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. It was. Mm -hmm. We had up a lot of good spots. We did. Yeah, we, we did. Shout outs, I do. Victor, happy birthday. And Jade Hom, sorry we got your name wrong. We're reading the text, and the text is real, real. And it, it's my old eyes. And it's real, real small, so we called her Jade Horn. By accident. But it's yeah. Jade Hom. Happy yes. belated birthday. Happy birthday, birthday. yes. Sorry about that. Okay, well, that ends our adventures here in uh, Georgia. Atlanta. Right, mm -hmm. right. Um, next week? I don't know. We'll I think see. we do know, but we're well, not saying it. We are, we'll see where we end up. <laughs> yeah, so until that adventure, we'll catch you guys in the next one.